Hey, Daryl here, I have another gig log for you. I'm leaving the DSLR camera at home again just because I find Insta360 just so convenient. So we are at, this is the place, Heritage Park. This is a venue in Utah and it's really spacious and it's a very popular wedding venue. And Utah weather is somewhat unpredictable. And unfortunately it's predicted to rain pretty much off and on all night. So this was the area we were supposed to have the reception. We're supposed to be set up outside, having lighting on like some of these trees as well as the facade of this building. So I didn't bring too many up lights, but unfortunately we are getting rained out. So we're just having to think quick on our feet and we're moving inside. Let me take you inside. So yeah, this will be the corner that we set up. And as you can see, this is a very big venue and so when i found out about the rain i started charging more up lights because i'm only going to bring 20 because you don't need a ton of up lighting to up light like an outdoor area but like a venue like this as you can see there's lots of beautiful architecture that you can up light and it's a very spacious inside so i'm super grateful for backed up plans i'm super grateful that there is an inside sometimes with these venues they're isn't a place to put everybody in and there is no plan b so it's awesome that we have that with this venue i'm super excited as you can see here plenty of parking the last venue they had no parking lot that is always interesting so this is awesome that we're in downtown salt lake city and we have a giant parking lot so this will make set up a breeze make set up with a trailer really easy So let me just go over my gear I'm using real quick. So the biggest change is I have a TV booth this time. This is the first time I've ever used the TV booth. Before I've just mounted the TVs on trusses. So this is a first for me. And I like it. I feel like it's less bulky. It's a little more sleek look, which I'm always striving for. And this is just my Bun Gear podium. And I developed a detachable TV system with detachable panels, which I'll go over that more in depth in a different video. I'm using Virtual DJ to Video DJ as well as Display the Static Monogram. And I brought two Evol 50s for sound. And I have my Yamaha MX-10 mixer to help with the gain to get the max volume I can out of these guys. I have two Cedars Link 6.56 foot totems, two Shove Intimidator 255 moving heads, six Shove Wellsticks 180s, and this is the same light show that I've promoted in my sound switch pixel mapping video. And I have 28 both IR4 up lights. And I'm using Donner DMX to wirelessly transmit my DMX. And I'm using sound switch to control all of my lights. This commitment of love. And we had a great ceremony. So the ceremony is over. I turned on the lights. As you can see I have the well sticks right here as well as a couple of movers. And I have some up lights around the venue. You can't really see them super well because it's really light and there's a lot of windows. But yeah, so we're just having a nice cocktail hour. And the bride and groom are expressing that they might want to move the party outside. But like every hour it's supposed to rain a little bit, so be interesting i mean it was heavily raining during the ceremony but right now it's pretty beautiful not too hot so yeah we'll we'll see where the night goes a fun option the bride and groom are doing is this blow-up house and they thought it'd be cool for people to take photos in the blow-up house so we have our photo booth right over here with braxton and we are ready to have a good time tonight you can see here there are some major storm clouds coming so outdoor weddings just scare the crap out of me because you never know what to expect especially with utah weather i was successful in convincing the couple to have the dance party inside but they were insisting that the photo booth stay outside they wanted photos with the bouncy castle or nothing at all we had a good hour during the night but it rained the rest of the night <laughs>
yeah, I felt like the wedding went really good and it was a lot of fun. And I'm really grateful that we were able to move the reception indoors. And early that morning, I had checked the forecast and it was almost guaranteed to rain off and on throughout the entire night. And so when I got to the venue, I was expecting the couple to have like a plan B or just saying that we're going to move the reception indoors. But, you know, they hadn't really thought about that. It was their dream to do the reception outdoors and they were really wanting to do it. And I was like, look, it's going to rain. It's unfortunate. I know that this is not what you wanted, but it's going to rain off and on, off and on. So we could do it outdoors, like you're saying, and move indoors when it rains and go back out and then go back in if it rains again. But the energy of the event will be best if it's like uninterrupted. And we can achieve that if we just do it indoors. And so they reluctantly agreed, but I feel like that the results worked. It was an awesome night. So what has your experience been with rain? Have you ever been rained on? Let me know down below. So please smash like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.